Welcome Aries. Okay, so Aries, what we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at what is going on over the next two weeks for you, what it is you need to work on. Okay, we're using Nature's Whispers Oracle cards. We're also using Grace cards, okay, and that's just to see really what you need to focus on over the next two weeks. Okay, and the Osho Zen Tarot for clarification. So let's just give these a quick little shuffle. Okay. We have empowerment is the first card here. Aries empowerment. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so what I feel like the situation here, Aries, is there's been a really, really a rough time that you have been through, okay, and I feel as though you've turned a corner and you're now looking in the direction of a, um, a much more colourful world, I'd say. Okay, um, I feel like there's still residue around you due to whatever it is that you have been through. Um, but I feel as though there are some of you who are making the effort to look at the brighter side of things, to look at um, maybe um, what you've learned from what's gone on, um, to really, to really understand that you went through whatever it is that you went through for a reason, and that it has taught you um, to maybe. Stand in the energy of being empowered and to not let that, you know, whatever it is that went on, to not let that pull you back or drag you down. Um, but it's still part of you, I want to say. It's still, yeah, it's still part of your energy. So it's, it's really important, I feel, yeah, see, look here, it's really important for you to be very vigilant about your thoughts and your energy right now, okay? We have courage and experiencing here. So, yes, it's taken a lot of courage for you to come out of whatever it is that you have come out of, okay? And... I really love this because there's something about you embracing the moment, embracing what it is that has happened, um, rather than dwelling on it or letting it pull you down. You know, you're seeing, because I'm seeing here, there's the sun peeking out from behind the clouds and I feel like this is what you're concentrating on rather than the storm that has happened. Um, you're not dwelling in it and I really feel like that is incredible. Okay, so the next card here we have is clear out the old. Yes, Aries, clearing out the old, things that don't serve you anymore. Um, these cards are incredible because they just tell so much of a story here. I feel like for some of you, Aries, the, the, if there's any residue of the storm, it has been in your mind. That's not to minimise or say that the, you know, this thing didn't happen, um, but it's almost as though the residue of it is actually replaying it in your mind, okay? I don't mean that in a way to say, oh, it's all in your head, you're making it up, not at all, 
okay um but i do feel like this is you clearing out the things potentially the thoughts in your mind that are no longer serving you okay um i am drawn here i keep getting drawn here to this keyhole okay in this um heart throat area so maybe some of you have been opening up about how it is that you feel about things maybe you have been giving your emotions a voice um It's, it's also, um, it could be the case for some of you. What is that stone Stonehenge in there? Mm. Okay, I feel like some of you are leveling up or have leveled up. Okay, you've been letting go of things that don't serve you. Things that you may have been holding on to for a really long time. And... Um, and this is helping you to actually level up spiritually, uh, consciously, and helping you to see the better, you know, a, a, another way of doing things. Yeah, see, clearing out this clutter in the mind, getting rid of all that garbage that no longer serves you. And we have rebirth here. Yes, letting your music come, come through, right? This is what this is about, opening up to allow the music inside of you to come out and be played, to be heard, not holding back anymore, right? Breakthrough, wow. Breakthrough, Aries. This is pretty incredible. Like, you guys have been doing the work, doing what it is that you need to do to allow yourself to, to transform, to transform like you deserve. Let me just see what else is here for breakthrough. Sorry, let, I'll just focus on the card a bit here. Yeah, there's such a release happening, or that, that has happened here, Aries. Such a massive release. It's it's really. Um, I just keep hearing the word becoming. You, you're, you've released so much so that you can allow the becoming of yourself to actually take place. This is, wow. Aries, this is absolutely mind-blowing to me. I'm so, so proud of you and so happy for you um, because you really deserve this, you know? Um yeah, we have participation here. I love this. Um, bringing together all elements that are necessary for you to have made the break breakthrough that you are making. We've got consciousness turn up here, but I'm not sure it's meant to be. But I just want to note it, okay? I feel like um, that there's this, this level of you being conscious and aware, okay, um, of, of, in a sense, how it is that you're creating your life, how it is that you are, what you're putting out there is what is coming back to you in the sense of thoughts, vibration, uh, emotions, all that stuff, right? Um, we have these two cards here, participation and fighting. Yeah. And I want to say about this Aries is that this is you, I think, I think this is you becoming conscious of your contribution to how things may have potentially not worked out or, or some kind of, if, if this is fighting between you and another person, this is you becoming conscious of your participation in that because a lot of times what we can do is we can actually just sit and blame the other person well if they said this and they said that and did this and that and we don't really look at our own contribution to it there's always two sides to everything yeah when there's two people involved 
or more than two people. And so I just wonder if it's the case for some of you that you've really taken ownership of your contribution to something. Um, and this has helped you to make this breakthrough. If all of this has not happened yet, Aries, this is advising you to actually take action so that this breakthrough can happen. Okay, um, just putting the consciousness card back because I feel like it wasn't meant to come out, but I do feel like it was part of that message. Anyhow, moving on. So now we've got you ready to take a fresh approach. And I feel like for some of you, Aries, you're sitting and you're contemplating. There's the sense of really... Um, of going within and really feeling it out, which I love, Aries. This card here is just saying so much. It could be the case that for some of you, you need to get out into nature to, um, I feel like that will clear your energy in order for you to, I want to say move forward, but I don't feel like you're ready to move forward. I feel like right now it is the time to sit and contemplate, you know, but I feel like getting out in nature is going to help um, to release any residue of the, the, the storm that you have been through. It's going to help uh, rejuvenate your energy in a sense. Okay, Aries. Um, Yeah, because it does feel like you're in the, hanging in the balance here. It feels like you're trying to s decide which way to go. And for some of you, this may be weighing heavy on your mind. I feel like there is those of you where there are people around you who may potentially be telling you, go this way. This is the way you should go. This is the way everyone goes after being through such such a storm. And... Um, and I feel like you're just quietly contemplating what it is that you really want. And I think that that's a great um, energy to kind of, I don't want to say be stuck in because you're not stuck. But it's a great energy to rest in while you make the decision that you need to make as to which way it is that you want to go. And interestingly enough, this person is turning away from these ones. So I do feel like for you, Aries, that it's it's going to be easy for you to block out all that external noise of what everyone else is saying, okay? Um, I do feel for you, though, there is a little bit of um, going over things in your mind trying to work things out okay um some of you are feeling like you need a little bit more protection right now than usual okay um Yeah, I definitely, I definitely am getting a sense for some of you that it may feel like things are in quite the muddle at the moment. Um, and that's okay. Just do what you're doing right now, Aries, because I feel like it's working for you. I do feel like this time needs to be taken and I feel like that is necessary for you to get a clear view of which direction you will be heading in. I, I, I get a sense that it's not time to walk forward yet. Um, and this time of contemplation is crucial. You are worth it. Hmm. Okay, so maybe it is the case that this time of contemplation is necessary for you to realize that you actually are worth it. I feel as though 
Oh, yeah, radio. <sighs> Sorry. Calming down, calming down, Aries. So many messages coming at once. I feel as though some of you, okay, sorry, let me just backtrack a little bit because what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing this big ship here, okay, and I'm seeing this little boat. I feel as though some of you only may believe that in order for you to travel where it is you need to travel, this is all you're deserving of, when in fact you're actually deserving of this big ship here, not just a little dinghy. To, to row around and you deserve a big ship where a captain's going to be there and he, they're actually going to take you to your destination right um yeah so i feel like maybe that self-esteem still needs to be worked on with this you have been working on this 100 percent, no doubt about it that work is is still um progressing and you have you have come a long long way and Hats off to you, because it takes courage to make the changes that need to be made in order for you to actually implement self-love, okay? Um, and so, you know, it's almost like this is the next step of that, okay? Of, of really knowing, not, not just believing, but knowing in your heart of hearts that you truly are worth the best, Okay, because I feel like some of you dream of it, um, but there's something inside of you that doesn't quite believe that you'll get what it is that you dream of, or that you are worth what you dream of. But you are Aries, and so it's really, you know, just working on that some more to get to the point where you know you are worth it. Okay, so what else have we got for this? isolation yeah yeah still this is could be still from this residue of the storm you know yeah definitely the dream yeah see this is exactly what I'm talking about this this person here you know still still um okay okay so with the where is it the keyhole here Okay, the keyhole, these, this opening up, and I feel like with this isolation card here, is this, this releasing that you've done has helped to make this breakthrough to actually start to melt this ice, okay, and, it, but there's still more to be melted, it, it's begun, the process has begun, and it's almost like you've overcome the toughest hurdle in this process, yet, uh, there is still more to be done, okay, and this, these two cards here, seriously, hand in hand, okay, because I want to say, and oh, it's so funny, because I was about to say this, but I, I didn't, and I wasn't meant to, because this was meant to come out to say it, um, it's like this girl here, and this girl here, are both dreaming of what it is that they would like uh, in their life, you know, this one's got this big, beautiful flower here, and um, it's almost as though, and, and this one here in a relationship is dreaming of this beautiful, loving relationship, but there's this energy of, oh, I'd love to have that. If only it would come to me. It will probably never come to me. You know, there's that energy of it's just a dream, but because you don't believe that you're worth it yet, Aries yet um it's not able to come to you so this is this is great um to see this is great to see the progress that you have made and do you know what this first row here very easy to um go oh yeah you've done heaps of work and you've made this breakthrough um maybe that's all you need to do but this second row here is saying there is more work to, that needs to be done here, Aries. Okay, but boy, oh boy, you've made a lot of accomplishments so far. So that's fantastic. We now have new experiences and possibilities. And this is where this is leading you. This is where this work is leading you. Because look at this. She's now not just getting a singular flower. She's getting a whole orchard of flowers, right? 
the flowers come in orchards I don't know but anyway um yeah you're getting a tree full of different flowers and there's even this castle here in the background right the castle where these two reside so it's opening up this is opening up and I really do feel like spending more time in nature is going to help you with this. When you immerse yourself in the experience that you're having, even if it is just sitting under a tree, even if it is smelling a flower, it's not just about oh, picking it up and smelling it in or going for a walk. Okay, I've done that now. It's experiencing it to the fullest okay because if you look at this lady here she's you know out here in nature immersing herself almost as though she's becoming the tree right and it's the same with this one here she's becoming the tree she's becoming her surroundings and that just leads me on to another message here Aries is be mindful about who you're surrounding yourself with, what it is that you're watching, what are you, you know, what kind of um, pages do you follow on social media, looking at all these things so that you can become aware of exactly how you are creating your environment, okay, um, because if there's a lot of toxic people around you who are draining your energy and um, who are vampires, energetic vampires, then you are going to be depleted and it's going to be difficult for you to be able to lift your vibration up. Okay, so this is very, very important for you. I do feel like though with this clear out the old, you have been aware of that, um, but there could still be things that aren't so clear um, that you need to look at. Just a little bit of an extra one there. Extra message for you with that card, but tell me more about new experiences and possibilities for Aries, please. <laughs> New experiences and possibilities. What's this card here? Compromise. Interesting. Okay, so this could be letting down um, some walls, I feel. There it is. Letting down some walls. Um, Yeah, because I feel as though for some of you it could be um, that there may be some opportunities that come up for you. Um, it, it's almost as though what I'm seeing here is that some of you may have made a list and you're adamant that you're going to stick to that list. And something could come along. It could be an experience, a possibility, an opportunity. And you're looking at your list and you're like, well... I wanted that that brand new something or other and but it's not you know it's just one shade off the color that I wanted but it's still the same color and so you're like nope that's not no nope. there's there's got to be some sort of flexibility here okay um because I feel like you'll miss out on more of that coming your way okay um, so just be mindful of that. Try to be a bit more flexible, okay? Um, we also have the master here, which is super cool. <clears throat> and Aries, this is about you being aware of your own um, <clears throat> your own greatness, yeah. Let me just clear my throat for a tick. Sorry about that, Aries. Okay, so being aware of your own greatness. And, and with this here, I feel like these two here, these are two, two are you. Okay, it's like you're getting in your own way of your greatness shining through. So I feel like 
again with this new possibilities, new experiences, sorry, and possibilities, there's some things maybe that you're not trying out because it doesn't quite fit with your your vision or, or your list or your plan, okay? And so you're actually missing out on some things that could lead to where it is that you want to go. So I would be conscious of allowing things to happen because this is what the master would do. The master would embrace every new experience and every possibility and every opportunity knowing that there is something to be gained from that even if it is not part of that, um, you know, what you envision because what, what actually is that path may look completely different to what you think it might, okay? Okay, so on to the grace cards here. We've got partnership here. Oh, I love this. Partnership. See, Aries, I feel like this is about you letting this um, armor down. See how her hand is on his heart here, and he's even holding her hand from going any further to the heart, right? You're still guarded. You're still guarded. It says at the back here, God speaks to us through people. We are ambassadors of grace for one another. And so, Aries, it could be that if there's, say, for example, if you're wanting to get into some sort of business or something like that, that you would like to create on your own, it could be that you get someone else on board to work with you on that, yeah? Um, if you feel that's the right thing to do. That was just something that popped into my head, but I do feel like there's this need to take the armor off okay because it, it, it served you during the storm and you may have needed that armor but now it's actually a bit heavy and you probably want to move forward without that armor there's no there's no battle going on um to have it necessary to be wearing that armor okay so let's just see here if oh, actually no i don't want to clarify with these Gratitude is the next card we have here. I love this. Look at this. This is beautiful. This says at the back, be thankful. A grateful heart is like a magnet drawing toward it a wealth of abundance. Yes. See, and this could be what it is, you know, this could be why you need to get out in nature okay to be grateful for everything around you that naturally grows all this um you know to look at the amazement of nature as well because what will happen with that Aries is you will raise your vibration by doing that okay and really feeling that immersing yourself in nature and the last card here we have is gift grace is a gift from God. We don't need to work hard to earn it, feel worthy enough to deserve it, or surrender our needs to receive it. The gift of grace is our birthright. Yes, Aries, yes. You totally needed to hear that. I'm going to read it one more time. Grace is a gift from God. We don't need to work hard to earn it, Feel worthy enough to deserve it or surrender our needs to receive it. The gift of grace is our birthright. You see, Aries, you see, it's not about you. You, you, you are absolutely deserving of it. It's yours for the taking. It's you who doesn't believe you deserve it. Okay, so this is really important for you to start focusing on that area, okay, and really start building up your self-esteem so that what it is that is there for you, that is your birthright, can come to you, okay, because once you open that, that up, once you open yourself up to receive that, it can't do anything else but come your way. 
Okay, Aries, I hope that helps you take care of yourself over the next two weeks and come back and listen to this as the two weeks go on, okay, because you might get more messages out of this um, than what you do the first time. Okay, Aries, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.